Hey guys, so I made this tutorial doing two different looks. The first one is going to be an everyday look that you can wear to school or to work, and the second half will be how you can change your day look to night. So I hope you really enjoy, and comment below and let me know what you think about these two-in-one videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! To prime my eyes, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. To get a natural look, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette in the color Faint, and I will be applying this with my Stilla Fluffy brush all over my crease. Okay, so next I will be applying the color Foxy with my medium Coastal Scents shadow brush all over my lid. Don't forget to go back in with your blender brush and blend the two colors together. To highlight my brow bone, I will be using the color Venus and just make sure that you blend this highlight color with your crease color. Okay, so now I'm doing my winged liner with the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. Please excuse my nail, I broke it the other day and I have not had a chance to fix it and it looks ridiculous right now. But anyway, so for this look I'll be using false lashes and you can use any lash glue that you have but I am using this one and I will be using the Ardell Natural Demi Pixie Lashes. These ones look really nice especially for this type of look. Um, I had them applied on me the other day and I just loved how they turned out. So now I'm applying the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes Mascara on my top lashes. I'm not adding a lot because I do have the falsies on. And for my eyeliner, I will be using the NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium just to brighten up my eyes. Since this is a natural look, I did not want to use black eyeliner. I just feel like that would make it look very intense. Okay, so now I'm going in with the color Faint and applying it beneath my lashes. And then I'm going in with my mascara and just applying it heavily on the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, so for my primer, I'm using the Hydrating Smashbox Photo Finish. I really like this during the winter time because the cold air makes my skin really dry and this just helps to really bring the moisture back into my skin. Okay, so this step is optional, but I am applying MAC Fix Plus all over my face just so it can give my foundation that dewy look. And of course the foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade W5 and I'm applying it with a damp beauty blender. I feel like the beauty blender just gives me a flawless finish. Okay, so next I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose, and I'm applying this under my concealer just to really highlight these areas. Um, as you can see, I applied it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on the center of my forehead, and I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender just to make sure that everything gets blended out. I'm applying my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC20. Okay, so to set my foundation and concealer, I will be using my Makeup Forever HD Powder with my Tarte Powder Brush. I find that if you use translucent powder to set your foundation, it will give you a more natural look than using a setting powder that has color because that will give you a more full coverage look. So to contour, I'm using my Hoola Bronzer. I don't want to use a very dark bronzer to contour because this is a everyday natural look. Um, so this is the lightest bronzer that I did have and I find that it gives you the perfect contour. mineralized blush in the color Dainty. It's a very light pink and I find that it gives you a very flushed look. For lipstick I'll be using a light pink color and it is the YSL lipstick in number one nude beige. Okay so this completes my everyday natural look and now I will just get right into the night look. Okay, so this is the second and final look. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this, so please comment and subscribe below. Thank you! Okay, so first to intensify my eyes, I'm using my NYX Slide On Pencil in Black and applying it to my waterline. So to smoke out the look, I'm using the color Crave from the same palette and I'm applying it on the outer corner of my lash line. You can do whatever.
whatever bold lip you like, but I am doing red today and I'm applying the MAC lip liner in half red. I like to apply my lip liner all over my lips because I find that it helps my lipstick to last longer. And if you make any mistakes, you can go in with a Q-tip or with your concealer just to really shape how you want your lips to be. For lipstick, I will be using the color MAC Red. Okay, so last but not least, we are going to darken our contour, and to do this, I'm using my favorite bronzer, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Soule. This bronzer literally smells like chocolate. It smells so good, and it tastes delicious. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the final night look. I really hope you enjoy these two-in-one videos. I'll try to make more. If you guys like it, just comment below and let me know what you think.